bless you how are you <laughs> i wish you nothing but the best today guys you know yes i have a wonderful word of encouragement for someone that is watching me today beloved as you're listening to me right now as you're watching me today i want you to understand beloved that it's when you're a person and you have a goal and you work towards the goal right yes and you know you're working towards the goal and you're putting in the work you will see the fruits of your labor. Yes. You see, once you put in the work, beloved, no matter if, you know, discouragement come, no matter if people say no, you will never achieve your goals. Don't believe the lies of the enemy, beloved, because the enemy can use people that walk on two foot to discourage you, right? To bring down your spirit, to belittle you, right? So the enemy can win right over you by stopping you right from moving forward with your goals so someone is watching me right now i want you to understand beloved you know that while you're putting in the work just trust your process with god trust your journey also with god and you know just know this beloved that as you're putting in the hard work right as you're toiling day in day out beloved you will see the fruits of your labor in God's divine timing. What I mean by this? Well, beloved, just a while ago, you see a, a mosquito, right? Yeah, the mosquito was trying to distract me. It's the same way, beloved, that when you're putting in the work, mosquitoes that walk on two foot will come and try to distract you, right? Try to hinder you as well. Try to, you know, verbally, you know, abuse you to say that, you know, you should give up and give in, right? But it's for you to believe in what you're doing. It is for you to trust God with what you're doing and know that, right? Yes, that you will overcome, that you will be triumphant, that you will be victorious despite the odds, beloved. That the enemy throw in your life despite the mosquito tantrum tantrum that the enemy throw into your life right guys yes what i mean by this will you see in psalms 128 verse 2 hear what he say he say blessed are all who fear the lord who walk in obedience to him you will eat the fruit of your labor Blessings and prosperity will be yours. So what the scripture is saying, it is saying, beloved, that blessed are you, son of God, daughter of God, that toil and labor, that put in the work, right? Yes, because at the end of the day, you should never fear, right? Yes, the tantrum tantrum that the enemy threw your way, you should never be discouraged and be distracted, right? Yes, by the mosquito, Right, yes, that walks on two foot, that trying to hinder you and putting blockages in your way and try to discredit you at the end of the day. Just be in obedience, walk in obedience, right? Yes, knowing that, hey, no matter what comes my way, right? No matter what kind of tantrum, tantrum the enemy is going to throw my way, I'm going to stand strong and firm in obedience, in trusting God with my path, in trusting God with the labor that I am putting in, and know that I will eat the fruits of the hard work that I put in. I will see the blessings of God. I will see the outpour of God's throne showing down prosperity your way, beloved, right? Yes, so someone is watching me right now. I want you to understand by you toiling day in, day out, beloved, right? Yes, know that you will see the fruits of your labor. You will see the fruits of your hard work, beloved, by you believing in yourself and trusting God with the process and know that everything is divine timing, beloved. Not your timing, but God's timing and definitely, beloved, when you put in the work, and when you trust God with the work that you're putting in, right, you can trust that God will open the heavens and pour down blessings and prosperity your way, beloved. So read Psalms 128 verse 2. Meditate on that scripture and apply it in one's life. I pray you have an awesome weekend indeed.
What good? Thank you.